are having uh, a great um, uh, end of your semester um, and uh, are wrapping things up for your classes. And um, it's a great opportunity to talk about um, summer. So um, uh, we'll start again, like I said, in just a, a minute or two more. Um, good. Well, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I am Adam Anthony. I'm uh, the Assistant Dean for Washington Semester Programs here at American University. And I'm, I'm really happy uh, to be able to talk to you about our summer program for this summer. Um, I'm going to introduce my colleagues in a second. Um, but one thing I wanted to um, let you know is for this webinar format, you'll see that there is a Q&A button there. Um, and so feel free to use that um, during the presentation. Um, and then afterwards, we'll, we'll take time for questions. Uh, one of my colleagues, Marissa, will be um, on the, um, uh, the Q&A box and she'll be answering easy to answer questions. And then um, <clears throat> uh, the, the questions that need more discussion will do at the end of the presentation. Um, so again, feel free during the presentation to use that Q&A box. Um, so I'm Adam Anthony. Uh, I have been with American University for just about a year. Um, I uh, came actually from 15 years at William & Mary uh, here in Washington, D.C., running academic programs for William & Mary. And um, I've got a lot of experience in helping um, students engage with Washington, and I'm really excited today to be able to talk to you about the program um, that we have for you for this summer, um, uh, the recast program, given all that we have going on in the world these days, um, opportunity for you to engage uh, with DC this summer. Amy? Thanks so much, Adam. I'm Amy Morrill Bijo. I'm the Director of Experiential Education and also your Internship Placement Advisor. I'm the one who's going to work with you step by step to make sure you land in a meaningful internship placement for this summer. I'm joining you from right near the campus in a rainy Washington, D.C. We've had a glorious spring in terms of our blooming cherry blossoms and dogwoods, etc. I look forward to connecting you to uh, in a virtual way to this great city. Hi, oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, my name is Marissa Whitaker and I am the enrollment associate for the Washington semester programs. I've had the opportunity to talk with some of you about your applications. I am helping manage the applications, talking with students, answering questions, and working with admitted students as well. Um, I'm relatively new to the Washington semester program team. I just joined um, about two months ago. It has been a whirlwind, um, but I'm very excited to be here. I'm good. Thank you both. Um, so we're going to talk a bit about the Washington semester program, um, the, the, the courses, the internships, and then the process of, of applying. Um, what I recognize is that some of the folks tuning into this actually um, have are in and have deposited. Um, and so um, this will help explain a little bit more about how the summer is gonna go. Uh, and then we have folks who have applied um, and in our, or, or in the process of being considered. And then I, I recognize we have folks who are still um, thinking about applying. And so um, hopefully this will answer questions for all three groups. Um, <clears throat> so, um, First, what I want to tell you is American University has been running a program in Washington, D.C. for visiting college students since 1947. Um, we have about 50,000 alums of our program. Um, the summer iteration 
program is relatively recent. Um, and um, uh, what I will say is that um, we, what we have experience with is engaging in Washington. Everybody knows um, uh, who is, uh, who AU is, what AU um, is capable of, and what the students who come to this program are capable of. And so what you're stepping into is a, uh, a, a machine of sorts, uh, a reputation machine that helps you advance your careers. Um, some of our, we, we have a lot of famous alums, former speaker of the uh, uh, House of Representatives, Paul Ryan is an alum of our program. Um, current Congresswoman Donna Shalala, former HHS secretary is an alum. Um, America Ferreira uh, is an alum uh, from um, uh, Ugly Betty and uh, the, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Um, so we've got a broad spectrum of folks who have done our programs before. Um, here we go. Um, I'm going to go through some of the benefits of the program and then we'll get in a broad sense and then we'll get the, um, the details um, very specifically. Um, <clears throat> and just so you know, um, the way we look at this is um, when you come from your home institution, um, that, that you are students for the, uh, the summer or the semester. Um, we um, extend all the benefits to you that we do for AU students. And um, we, a lot of times we'll have partnerships with your home institution during the summer, maybe not so much, but we look at you as the opportunity for us to be able to um, help you engage just as we help AU students. I recognize there are a number of AU students here on the call and um, you understand what I'm talking about, how administrators and faculty from AU really bend over backwards as much as possible to help students engage with um, the programs they're involved with. So um, a couple of the benefits. Um, obviously a big part of the program is an internship and Amy's gonna go through that in detail, um, but um, when the university made the decision to go all online for the summer, um, we took the advantage, uh, took advantage of the opportunity to engage with a whole group of DC employers and to get commitments from them to do remote internships. Um, we have current spring students who are in remote internships now and um, they've been going surprisingly well and Amy is going to talk about that experience a bit and how it can work for you. Um, but please know that um, this is a select group of employers who have said, yes, AU is uh, someone I want to do a partnership with for this summer. And so uh, it's a real advantage of the program to, have to step into those relationships. Um, the academics are an interesting and unique part of uh, the American University uh, Washington semester program and summer program. Um, had you been doing the regular program, this is the experience that would you, you would have. This is a class that's in a member's, member of Congress office. Um, you can, I'm gonna guess, because there's N MSNBC on the monitor, that that is a Democrat <laughs> uh, office as opposed to a Republican office, but um, this is a very typical experience for the Washington semester program. This is our professor here, Jason Fabricant. Um, who has arranged for this class to visit with congressional staff. I don't see a member of Congress here, so I'm guessing maybe this was a meeting with congressional staff. Um, but this is the essence of the class, is that you're going and seeing and doing in Washington, meeting people, hearing their perspectives, and you're being guided by the senior professor. Um, Jason has been in DC for many years, understands DC very well. And so it's not just tourism, you're actually having, um, the academic context before and after this visit um, and reading and reflection, and then you do the visit and then you're able to draw lessons from the visit. So this will change obviously for the summer, but not all that much. Um, it takes a lot to get this many students to, to get into a member of Congress's office. Um, the bottom line is right now, the member of Congress and the staff are just like me sitting in their basements, uh, Zooming people and 
Um, in the spring, it's actually been easier to get good speakers to be able to zoom into classes. And so we're going to work very hard with our summer professors to um, get good speakers to be able to zoom in. And then you're going to be able to engage with them directly, just like this, where um, someone is, in, is, is talking to you and explaining things about what they do and how their office works and how it relates to the topic. You'll have been prepared with readings and discussions ahead of time. And then you'll have this conversation with them. And then you'll have reflections afterwards. Um, and, and we're pretty optimistic, just based on our experience for the spring, that we're able to get good people um, to be able to zoom in. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I happen to be a big music fan, and I noticed that um, uh, Post Malone did this uh, webinar um, where he was doing a lot of Nirvana's music, and he got some crazy number of people. He, he's raised almost a million dollars from this concert that he did. And to me, that said, Boy, that the access that we have to be able to reach people uh, in this setting uh, can really pay off for us and for our students. So um, I'd love to say that this is what your experience is going to be this summer, being able to engage uh, in the offices. But I think you will see that um, your ability to engage with speakers um, more, you know, more directly through Zoom is going to be helpful for you to understand and engage with the topic. Um, so. Two courses, um, US government and um, uh, international relations, and they are similar in focus. The US government, obviously, is going to be focused on, on the machinery of the US government, um, helping you understand um, US political institutions um, and engaging with speakers that can help you illuminate that. Um, <clears throat> and then in international affairs, uh, international relations, you're going to be engaging more with the traditional uh, institutions, the State Department and uh, think tanks, embassies, um, to help you understand the way things work. Um, we are um, just finalizing the um, syllabi for both these classes. And as soon as we have them, we'll, we'll send them out to you. And so you'll be able to see specifically who you'll be talking to. Um, but understand that it, it will be engagement with the folks that you would expect in terms of the class. Um, again, the, 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 the class is three credits, and that involves the, the coursework and the internship that you'll have. Um, and so um, feel free to ask questions about that process. Um, so this, are, this is the team that uh, stands behind the summer program. Um, you'll see uh, um, me and Amy and Marissa here. Also, Anna Saavedra is an administrator who is uh, the academic advisor for the program. And then you'll see a couple of our faculty here um, who uh, uh, will teach different courses in our program. And so um, some of these folks have been here uh, for, for 20 years and have a very clear understanding of the way things work. And so uh, I think it's just helpful for you to see the, the team that's behind you. Um, I think I'm the only one in the woods there. Oh, I guess Christian's in the woods too, but I think I need a more professional shot. Um, well, anyway. Um, so I'm going to turn things over to Amy, and she is going to talk to you about the internship process, and um, and then we'll, um, we'll uh, be in a position to take care of questions. Great. Thanks so much, Adam. So our internship sites are as unique as you are. We have a, an opportunity now to talk to you a little more deeply about what the internships look like know that DC is the number one city for internships and we have placements in every area of interest. And let's begin with some examples here. In business, we have New Light Technologies that's committed and I'm gonna give you some more samples. Um, business Policy, the American Automotive Policy Council has made a commitment to host this summer. In Communications, American Forum, Voice of America, Backroom Politics Radio, WAMU, an NPR affiliate. In the domestic nonprofit area, the National Youth Rights Association has committed for this summer. Also, the Embassy of Pakistan, the Department of Treasury as a federal agency. Nonprofits include SOS Children's Villages, the Committee for Human Rights in North Korea, Crouch and Crouch Law Firm, as well as Antonopoulos and Associates in that domain. Lobbying organizations include Lobby It, 
represent women and unite here. In the social justice category, engage globally. Think tanks include the Wilson Center, the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, and more. So I have only scratched the surface of some of these recent employers who've been reaching out to me. For those students who are already in the placement process, you're already getting a feel for what it looks like. And employers are starting to talk to students right now about projects that are similar to this. And, and I'm gonna read an excerpt from one of our current spring students on the kinds of things that he's been doing in a remote internship. And this is what you can expect from the Washington semester program. So the student wrote to me, I'm currently in quarantine, working remotely in my little apartment, doing my internship and working hard. I'm attending policy events online in which I write summaries. I use Dropbox to ex exchange files. I'm also working on data analysis and put the files in Slack. We have a weekly check-in with my supervisor and colleagues through Zoom. The student reports that he's growing sharper and stronger by the week with new professional experiences. These are skills that he's going to talk about in his next job interview. Overall, know that when you're joining in the AU Washington semester program, you are part of, as Adam explained, this auspicious network. When you're in our virtual resume book, and more on that in a moment, um, employers understand that you are getting credit from AU. That matters very significantly because employers want you to be dedicated and professional they know that when you're earning credit from the Washington Semester Summer Internship Program, that your transcript will reflect a grade that is part of the work that you're doing and the day-to-day -day internship experience. So employers take special notice of AU students seeking internships. In fact, when I develop new relationships with employers, one of the very first questions would be, it, are these students earning credits? And of course the answer is yes for you, that you're earning these credits that will move you forward towards your degree and again, enhance your profile as a candidate for these very competitive summer internship programs. Know that when you're in our pool that I do regularly write a confirmation of enrollment related to your status at AU. So when you start the, the actual internship placement, we formalize this into a learning agreement. But even in, during the placement process, this is a significant part of the benefit for you enrolling in AU, you're earning credit. So um, the, the next slide uh, does demonstrate what is also the distinctive advantage for you as you're getting placed with my help and then also in partnership with your as well your motivation um, together we're a tight team you and me working together getting your resume out there in front of employers so indeed with this wide network of contacts we literally have 4,000 employers in our system who have access to view your resume and your cover letter on my side, I am working to make sure employers are looking at your profile. So these employers that I've mentioned and many others, I'm reaching out to them to say, hey, we have a new candidate. And I think that you wanna take a look at Amelia, for example, because she has some particular talents that will help you on this research project that you wanna do on climate change. And so I'm always, um, going back and forth between employers and students to help find the right match. Again, it's a true partnership where your resume grows legs in our system. When I put your resume in our virtual resume book, often that resume goes indeed in our network and sometimes even a little further because I often ask employers to share your credentials. I'm giving you personalized coaching advice at every step along the way. You can reach out to me by phone, email, and text, um, especially in COVID-19. Um, 
some of the rules are a little more fluid, you can contact me even um, outside of the standard business hours within reason, because I'm your coach, we'll make sure that you get placed. Every student gets placed in the Washington semester summer program. Occasionally students ask me, so Amy, is this a guaranteed placement? And I'd like to flip the question around to say, we have a perfect track record of everyone getting placed in our program. The question really sometimes is similar to, Amy, do you guarantee I'm going to pass this class when you start the class? Um, I guarantee that in our program, when you put in the effort and when you work with me, you will succeed. But again, there are no guarantees until you show your motivation, your drive, and persist with us, sometimes through some active follow-up and this good networking that I'll coach you about through the, the summer application process. Working with you on your resume and your cover letter and giving you tips on how to follow up and also writing that thank you note, et cetera, as you apply to positions with my guidance. Um, something I wanna add is that I, um, I love doing mock interviews. Uh, I think I'm good at it, I'm tough, but um, uh, if you would like and you, what you're preparing for an interview, uh, Amy will often send me uh, students and um, I, I, sometimes it's painful. It's not a comfortable mock interview process, but inevitably it steps up your game pretty considerably because uh, it, it is sometimes difficult to know what is an employer expects on the other end of a call or a Zoom call. And so uh, something I love to do and something that we provide as part of your experience. Great, thanks so much, Adam. Um, so now I wanna give you a feel for what a remote internship looks like in the day-to-day -day experience. So um, as you know from looking at materials, our program does begin with orientation on Monday, June the 1st. You begin your internship placement on Tuesday, June the 2nd, and it lasts for a total of eight weeks. It concludes on July 24th. This internship period does follow some of the standard protocols of a traditional work environment. That is, you will normally intern nine to five. Roughly, you'll take an hour lunch break on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. That equals to about 28 or 32 hours a week. The specifics of that, you'll be working out with your internship site supervisor, your faculty member, and me. We will help you devise your learning plan at the beginning of the semester. Know that all internships are substantive. That means that, of course, in the virtual world, obviously, there's no getting coffee for a supervisor. Um, likewise, that doesn't happen in, in fall and spring and face-to-face -face either. But know that you'll, you have a special opportunity to hone your skills when it comes to writing, reports, analysis, presentations, and other skills. As the students from the spring have been reporting to me, they have sharpened a new focus and discipline by maintaining a regular schedule. And again, I do, um, we do emphasize that we are aiming for students to follow this protocol. We know that it's easy for college students to sort of slip into a more, um, irregular pattern of sleep and hours, but this is a professional experience where we need you to step up the, to the plate, to stay motivated and to get disciplined. We will support you in the internship class and also with my regular advising hours throughout the summer program. Know that as, as you heard from Adam a moment ago, that there are reflective internship classes every Wednesday afternoon. So that's a chance for you to look back and enhance your network and make sure that you are um, doing the, the critical thinking about what you're learning when it comes to the professional skills. In sum, in the Washington semester program, all of our students enhance resumes, learn professional skills, gain credit, and expand your network in Washington, DC.
We will be looking forward to meeting you face to face down the road. Of course, this summer is remote, but we do plan to meet you because our office in Spring Valley in, in the heart of DC is, is also, um, we'll consider you alums of our program and alums of American University. So the continued connections will, will be permanent with your status as an AU um, alumni. So thanks for that chance to give you an overview. I'm gonna turn it back to Adam to fill in some of the other dots. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so um, like I said, some of you have uh, applied and deposited and welcome. Um, some of you have applied and um, if you have not, uh, if you have um, finished your application and, and you've gotten confirmation that it is done, um, we are considering it now. Um, if you have not, this is the process. Um, you visit um, uh, American.edu slash spec slash DC summer and you'll see the application tab right there. Uh, you'll set up an account. Um, you'll, you'll fill out the application. It's actually a very easy application. Um, you upload an unofficial transcript and a resume and hit send and it'll be done. Um, and um, if you are accepted into the program, um, you will receive a, an official um, welcome and acceptance email and that'll have um, specific uh, instructions on how to place your deposit uh, to reserve a spot in the program. Um, so uh, applications are due uh, this upcoming Monday at 9 a.m. Um, we might have some um, uh, uh, issues with uh, the timing of deposits, so, um, but the applications themselves are due um, this upcoming Monday at 9 a.m. So um, if you do indeed have uh, problems uh, with the application, uh, my suggestion is um, uh, to do the application now and not this weekend or not Monday morning at eight o'clock. Um, to give yourself time to, uh, to be able to uh, handle the requirements of it. Um, once you do put a deposit down, um, uh, Amy will contact you and uh, engage with you on, on your internship process. Um, you'll receive the list of the commit, committed um, internships that we have, and you'll also uh, receive access to the database that we have of broader contacts that are in DC that are suggestions for you to consider also. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I will tell you um, is that in the past we've had students who have put a deposit down and then gotten access to the uh, database and applied for an internship gotten and then, and then withdrawn for one reason or another. And um, what I will tell you is if you do need to withdraw from the program after you put your deposit down, then we will need to contact the employer and withdraw our endorsement of you for the internship. Because that is an internship spot that a student in the course who is getting credit for it could indeed get. Um, so we will need to withdraw your endorsement. And I, I hope you understand um, why um, students are um, uh, paying for the, for the credits and the, um, the program. And so um, please know that we will need to do that. Um, so, um, so then that's the, that's the, um, uh, the process. And so you, you will spend the month of May, um, working with Amy and others, uh, maybe myself, maybe Marissa, maybe others in the unit to, um, identify and secure your internship. And then, uh, program will start on June 2nd. Um, so, so that's our presentation. Um, uh, what I do recommend if you, um, we're, we're, like I said, we're going to have questions now, but if questions come up over time um, this weekend, um, feel free, please take down this information, specifically the, the, uh, the email box, washsem at american.edu. That's the best way to get a hold of us. Um, our phone, obviously, we're all remote now. We do have uh, the phone number farmed out to various staff members. It can be a little more circuitous. Um, to uh, get a hold of somebody. So the wash Sam email box, I think is the best way uh, if you do have problems. Um, and, um, and then we can uh, help resolve them. Okay, so I'm gonna um, turn things over to Marissa and um, she is going to uh, let us know about questions that 
that uh, we can answer. Thanks, Adam. So Amy, I think that you can help us answer this first question. Somebody asked, um, you know, depending on the circumstances of the world this summer, if we are in DC and wanted to switch to an in-person internship, you know, I assume CDC guideline, everything allowing, would that be possible? That is a really good question that we are continuing to consider. Uh, your first, our first focus is your safety. Indeed at AU, we're especially proud that our president, Sylvia Burwell, is, happens to be the former Secretary of Health and Human Services. And so she's making decisions that keep your health and safety first. I'm not actually going to pass it over to my um, great my boss, Adam, because he's, he's working more front and center on this issue. So I'm going to punt it over to him. Uh, so um, Amy's 100% right. It, it is a real privilege to have um, Sylvia Burwell as our president. Interestingly, she has Anthony Fauci on speed dial, literally on speed dial. Um, so we're getting the best information that we can. So that is, uh, that is very nice. Um, uh, we are, we have had other students approach us with this question, um, and we are trying to resolve it at, um, actually the president, the provost are considering this question right now. My guess is that, um, my, my guess is that it's going to depend a lot on the, the employer. If the employer, if we do make the decision that it's okay, that, um, the employer might be the harder decision to make. So, but um, I'm hoping to have this wrapped up um, ideally by next week. Um, there is an active question sitting at the leadership at the highest level. Um, so please stay tuned on that. But that's an excellent question. Great, thank you, Adam and Amy. Um, Adam, perhaps you can tackle this one. Someone asked if there is financial assistance available for the summer. Uh, unfortunately, there is not financial assistance available for the summer. Um, your, your home institution might have extended financial aid um, for the summer. Um, some institutions have spread out financial aid over three semesters, fall, spring, and summer, as opposed to just fall and spring. And uh, you might be able to go to your home institution and um, um, be able to uh, apply some of that aid to this program. But we do not have any, uh, unfortunately, do not have any aid for you. Um, uh, in, in to afford the program. Sorry, I was on mute. Thank you, Adam. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked um, if recommendation requests were necessary for your application. If so, when should they be submitted? Um, no, we do not require letters of recommendation for the summer. If you feel extremely passionately about including one, I will remind you that our deadline is Monday, um, so you would have to get that in before then. Um, let's see, somebody else asked, if we are a part of this summer program, does that make us unable to do a semester-long program in the future? Um, no, no, we would love to have you. If we feel like um, you know, we can admit you for the summer, then we would love to have you for the fall or spring uh, as well. So um, the, the, the harder part might be on your, at your home institution, being able to get your home institution to accept, um, you know, like if you do a semester, if you do a summer with us and you're getting, you're getting credits for the, for the course. Um, and so your institution might look at that and say, okay, well, it's a course and internship. And so we can't accept mul multiple sets of um, credits for an internship. Um, but from our perspective, we would love, if we're able to admit you for the summer, we'd love to be able to admit you for the fall and spring as well. Thank you. Somebody asked if graduate students are able to apply for the summer program. Yes, so um, we actually have a grad status um, for the program. It would be for uh, students who have, who are um, graduating this week um, uh, or next week from their undergraduate institution. Um, we have a grad status for the program and so we would be able to um, put you into that 
category. Um, it's, we, we just got a request for this the other day, and so we're um, re resolving um, the final details for that. Um, so definitely stay tuned, but um, grad students could apply for it. Great, and Amy, you can confirm this question. Um, these internships are unpaid. The vast majority of the internships are unpaid. Um, once in a rare while, an employer might pay. Um, but again, the vast majority of the internships are unpaid. These are for credit. And the objective is the employer will train you so you earn new skills and thus will be prepared to, to land a well-paying job once you've finished your degree and, and once you complete this program. So the benefits are many fold for your longer term earning potential. Great, thank you, Amy. Um, let's see. Another one for you here, Amy. Are interns required to be online for the entire nine to five window on the given days, or is the internships more task based on a daily basis, um, which are expected to be completed during a specific time frame? Good That's question. a great question. It does vary by internship site. Some of our sites will lock into a very um, clear and more rigid nine to five schedule, but there indeed are sites where there's more fluid um, options for you to be working on projects at certain times. And so as we work together, you and I, we're going to talk about the particularities of who you are and how you'll thrive. One of the best parts of this experience, and I kept on hearing this from spring students, is that they had an even better chance for self-reflection to discover how they best learned and worked in an active way. And some did discover that they lacked a little discipline and motivation that they needed to, for example, set a clearer schedule for themselves. And, and many others did discover that they were able to dig in deeper to learn and tap new skills by taking an online class. As an AU student, you have free access to linkedin.com slash learning, some terrific training opportunities that are again included as a part of your tuition for the summer. Um, your employers will also be giving you training opportunities, but in sum, this experience is going to allow you to both follow the employer's requirements and then at the same time develop what works best for you with our support on a case-by-case -case basis. We'll be looking for the right placement for you and for the employer. Thank you, Amy. Okay, let's see. Um, are participants allowed to participate in online classes at their home institutions and be a part of the AU Washington semester program at the same time? Adam, you're muted. I'm muted. That, I think that should be the new, uh, the, the new phrase, like you're on a Zoom call or you're in a class and people are like, okay, don't worry about it, you're muted. Um, <clears throat> yes, no problem at all. You can participate in classes at your home institution, um, whatever you feel like you can handle. Um, it is challenging, frankly, to think about um, <clears throat> doing multiple classes. Um, it's why we do give um, students Wednesday off um, to be able to do our class and be able to do it during the day. But um, if you do want to um, take other classes during the evening, um, <clears throat> then feel free. Thank you. Um, let's see. Um, another question. Let's see. Is there um, an installment plan option for the program cost? Um, yes. So AU does have a, a, a program like that. Um, the finance office does allow you. And interestingly, it is uh, no fee. Um, so it's just, um, we're not, you know, they just break the cost into multiple payments. I think there's a two payment option, a two month option and a three month option. So, um, and, and again, it is not, there's no finance charge for it. So uh, we just wanna be able to 
um, make it as easy for you as possible. Great. Um, one question, I, I think you already touched on this, Adam, when you were discussing um, internships and if a student were to uh, withdraw from the program, then we would not be able to endorse their internship. Somebody asked if it was mandatory to take the available semester courses at AU if we're selected for the internship. Um, I interpret this, is it mandatory to take the course as well as the internship? Yes, it is mandatory. Yeah, yeah, because the credit that you're getting is for the course. Um, the internship is just an experiential part of the course. Um, and so um, the, the internship doesn't exist without the course um, in, in, in our eyes. Right. Um, when is the tuition due for the full program? Let me take a check at our timeline. I can respond to that in a moment. Um, I think the it, full tuition is due right on the first day of classes on June the 1st. I can confirm that in a moment. Mm -hmm. We have to be 18 plus age to apply, correct? Yes, I believe the requirement is that you have to at least be a freshman in college. Okay, let's see. And Jasmine, I saw your other question. I'll reach out to you after the webinar to answer that. And let's see. Yeah, we would love the opportunity to be able to take um, high school students. Um, but right now, the and there are, interestingly, there are a couple other programs at AU that are pre-college programs for high school students. They don't have the internship component. Um, the School of Communications actually has a very interesting one. Um, and so I do recommend you check out other programs that are available. But we, uh, unfortunately, need to have um, students be um, uh, college students coming from a home institution. Mm -hmm. A uh, question about the courses. Are the courses for the summer program in the evening or during internship hours? The classes take place on Wednesday afternoon. They're scheduled to take place between 1 and 4 p.m. However, these are seminar style with guest speakers that could vary slightly week to week. Know that your schedule within the Washington Semester Summer Program does involve the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday internship days that are reserved for internship. The Wednesdays afternoons, those are the, that's the time reserved for the seminar. So theoretically you would have Wednesday mornings free. Um, your professor will be in touch to give you the precise time and information when you'll be meeting. Um, again, sometimes it, it could be that you're meeting with a, um, occasionally it will be a big name senator or congressperson, for example, and we need to work off of their schedules. So the Wednesday afternoon time might vary somewhat week to week. Great, and somebody asked um, if they're an international student who's interested in the program, how should they proceed? Um, for our summer program, we are not able to accept students who or attend a university outside of the US. Um, if you are an international student who attends a US uh, college or institution, then you are able to apply for the program. Um, and also know that we cannot sponsor a student visa for this program. Um, if you have sponsorship from another university, then as Marissa said, then you, you can do the program, but we cannot initiate uh, sponsorship of, of a student visa for the summer. Any other questions that anybody has? I think that's all we have for right now. Oh, how does housing work? Well, because we are virtual for the summer, um, you will be housed at your home. Um, this is a virtual program. Um, if you do indeed want to move to DC, um, there, there is substantial housing, uh, private housing in DC. Um, I recommend, um, it, it will be a different summer than it is usually, but um, 
Craigslist DC has a fabulous section called uh, uh, sublease, summer sublease. And that's the way a lot of students who want to stay in DC for the summer will find housing. And inevitably there are people, I mean, who knows what's going on these days, but who need to sublease their apartment for the summer. And um, that is a great way for you to be able to find um, resources. But in terms of AU, there is no housing available for the summer. Would it be possible for AU Housing to send out their summer off-campus housing list? I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, we can certainly check. Yeah, that's a good question. All right, are there any other questions that anybody has? If, um, uh, we're Well, it's uh, 1247, and so uh, I just want to thank you on behalf of my colleagues. Um, I think um, this program could be a, a great opportunity for you to be able to get a DC experience. It's not the DC experience that we would want for you, um, uh, necessarily, that we had planned for you but uh, it is an opportunity to get um, engagement um, with a course and then be able to get engagement with a workplace um, and uh, boost your resume and also boost your contacts. Um, and I think the thing that, that Amy said that is pretty interesting is that in one sense, if you think about this internship being remote, it's probably the only internship in, in American history where you're guaranteed not to have to get coffee or make copies, um, <laughs> you know, that you're going to have a substantive experience. And, um, and that's a, that is a terrific uh, thing to be able to have for the summer. So I encourage you uh, to reach out to us. If you've got questions, please get your applications in. As I think I indicated in my email, um, we do anticipate, we do have a cap on the program and I do anticipate we're going to reach that cap. So if you are interested, um, please do apply, and um, and uh, we will uh, consider your application as soon as, as soon as we can, and we'll let you know about your status. Oh, Marissa, we got I think we got one more question. Somebody asked about um, a Schedule A application. Um, Adam, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Perhaps you can email the Wash Sem inbox after this, provide uh, just a little bit more detail, and we can get back to you today. I would also just add that um, in general, we do support students who need reasonable accommodation on um, in our partnerships with agencies and in all the organizations in support of Washington semester and student learning. There is a very open-minded outlook to support students and the unique needs that every individual has. So um, we encourage applications from students with all backgrounds and learning styles. And again, we do welcome you to apply. Um, and we can talk in more detail when it comes to the actual placement, as we will have a lot of one-on-one -on -one occasion for you and me and, and my colleagues to get acquainted to make sure that you land in the best fit internship that will help you succeed. Good. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much. And we, we look forward to seeing your application. And don't hesitate to contact us with questions. All right. Thank you.